Asia is a huge continent with incredibly diverse wildlife. From tigers to dragons, here are Asia's most ferocious animals. Number six. Coming in at the top of the list is an apex predator that tears its victims up like tissue paper. An animal so revered for its reputation of being the ultimate man-eater that its symbol represents royalty in Eastern Asia. The prodigious, the indomitable, the Bengal tiger. Tigers used to call the shots in India. They would pick off villagers with ease, leaving Indians in a constant state of fear. These ferocious felines are absolute units. Weighing in at a frightening 860 pounds, they can grow up to 12 feet in length. What makes Bengal tigers particularly formidable are their razor sharp teeth and matching retractable claws. Bengal tigers have the largest canine teeth of all of its cousins in the cat species and they use their claws both to obliterate their prey and climb into trees. Their strategy for hunting is pretty simple. They eliminate their prey by overpowering the victim and severing its spinal cord. In the 1900s, it is estimated that tigers killed a thousand people a year in India alone. One individual tiger, known as the Tigress of Champawat, is said to have killed 430 people. These numbers have reduced in the last few decades, but currently, with India's population growing, a deadly conflict between man and beast remains underway. As rural Indians move further into the forest and the grasslands, they're coming into more and more contact with Bengal tigers. In the Sundarbans region alone, about 60 people a year are eaten by Bengal tigers. So strongly consider skipping that area on your next trip to Asia. Pop quiz, hotshot. What is the recommended response to seeing a big cat out in the wild that maximizes your chances of survival? See if you can leave the correct answer in the comments below, and I'll let you know later on in the video if you're right. Number five. Next up on the list is the tank of the animal world. These beasts are big, heavy, armor-plated, and capable of inflicting big-time damage. The Indian rhinoceros is ranked as the fifth largest land animal on the earth, just behind various elephant species. The male rhino can weigh up to four tons and measures over six feet tall at the shoulder. Don't be fooled by their size. These things are nimble and have been clocked at speeds of 35 miles an hour. They're basically the linebacker of the animal kingdom. Living up to its reputation for being bad-tempered, the Indian rhinoceros is quick to attack any perceived threat with pure brute force. Rhinos have pretty bad eyesight, and their mentality is that if something seems harmful, they'll charge first and ask questions later. Getting hit by an Indian rhino is like being struck by a truck. But instead of a bumper, the truck has a horn. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell button to get notified of new videos, and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number four, Asia is home to a variety of crocodiles. But the two deadliest of them all is without a doubt the saltwater crocodile and the estuarian crocodile. These are the biggest reptiles on Earth. Their design is nearly flawless, and they haven't changed much since prehistoric times. These nightmares are armor-plated, shockingly fast both in and out of water, and equipped with the most powerful bite of any living creature. These crocodiles have a jaw-dropping bite force that's 10 times stronger than that of the great white shark. They can crack open your head like a peanut butter M&M. These monsters aren't picky eaters either. They're opportunistic feeders, which means they'll devour just about anything that comes in their way. Crocodiles are ambush predators. They sink below the surface of the water so that it's nearly impossible to tell if there's one lurking just a few feet from the shore of the river. Every animal needs water. And when you're in croc territory, every time you go to get a drink, you're rolling the dice. These things come out of the water attacking at lightning speeds, and then they drag whatever winds up in its mouth into the water below. Depending on its mood, the crocodile will either hide the carcass underwater and let it rot, or they'll throw down their infamous death roll, ripping the prey into bite-sized chunks. 
Number three, don't be fooled by its shabby appearance. The sloth bear is one of the most feared animals in all of Asia. Even tigers try to avoid this thing. Standing at about six feet tall, the sloth bear can weigh up to 420 pounds. They're armed with very long and powerful sickle-shaped claws that they use for digging up termite mounds. What makes the sloth bear the source of so much angst in Asia is that they're incredibly unpredictable. If you spot them in the wild, they're just as likely to attack as they are to run away. What's particularly discomforting is that they seem to have a real issue with humans. And on average, one person a week is attacked by a sloth bear in Asia. If you had to choose an animal to be attacked by, the sloth bear would be way towards the end of that list. They're incredibly vicious and know how to use their long claws in a scuffle. The sloth bear isn't afraid to fight dirty and is known to rip its victims' faces from their heads. In the 1940s in Missouri, India, one sloth bear went on a murderous rampage, killing at least 12 people and injuring a dozen more. And just about everyone was missing a face by the end. The sloth bear is an animal that you don't want to face off because they'll tear your face off. Number two. Coming in at number two is the Asian giant hornet, also known as the Yak Killer, which sounds like the name of a mediocre rapper from the 90s. These supersized wasps measure over two inches, but it's not their size that makes the Asian giant hornet highly dangerous. Their venom is a combination of cytotoxins and neurotoxins, and it's extremely potent. Not only does their venom cause tissue damage and severe pain that has been described as feeling like a nail is being driven into your body, but it can be lethal in high enough doses. Even if you're not allergic to their stings, these winged horrors can take you out. These insects like to swarm, and every year in Japan alone, 30 to 40 people are killed by Asian giant hornets, making them the most deadly animal in the country. It's answer time. According to the Smithsonian, if you find yourself confronted by a big cat in the wild, the first and most important thing you should do is don't run. Running is by far the worst plan for avoiding a tiger attack. They just love running after terrified prey. It's like their favorite thing to do. Put your arms straight up in the air and make yourself look as big as possible. Start yelling and stand your ground. If the tiger goes away, get out of the area. If the tiger charges, try to enjoy the show as your whole life flashes before your eyes. Number one. Coming in at the number one spot is an animal that belongs in another time. This redoubtable ravager is the largest and heaviest lizard in the world. The stealthy, the venomous Komodo Dragon. The Komodo Dragon is native to several Indonesian islands. It's believed that having no natural predators is likely what has allowed them to evolve into the giants that they are. The Komodo Dragon can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh up to 350 pounds. Leaping lizards, that's big. These powerful hunters rely on their sense of smell to detect food, using their long, forked tongues to sample the air and track prey, sporting long claws, powerful jaws, and razor-sharp serrated teeth. Komodo dragons can take down prey as large as water buffalo, but they don't rely on their strength to eliminate their prey. What makes their attacks especially nasty is that they bite you with a mouthful of destructive bacteria. The Komodo dragon only needs to bite its victim once. Then it can retreat to a safe distance and wait for its venom to wreak havoc on their prey's body. Over the next few days, the infection from the Komodo dragon bite will begin to fester. The victim's body will slowly start to give out and the Komodo dragon will just be chilling in the background, hanging with its buddies and waiting patiently for the doomed victim to keel over. Once the venom has snuffed out the life of the prey, the Komodo dragon will come out from the bushes and start feeding. What makes them extra sinister is that they're known to dig up human graves and eat the corpses. 
These are dragons that even Daenerys Targaryen couldn't love. Thanks for watching, friends. I hope you enjoyed learning about ferocious Asian animals. Don't forget to click that notification button so you don't miss any new Badger videos. See you in the next episode. Same Badger time, same Badger channel.